Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. I need you, my love. I am Victor Aukan. I am an entrepreneur and run a chain of businesses within and outside Nigeria. I met your daughter few years ago, but we started seeing each other two years ago. I like her ma and would be pleased if I could marry her. He stated flatly he was tired and didn't like the way both parents stared at him. To him, he was doing something noble by going to their house. But the look they were giving him made him feel like a child molester. Would they have preferred it if they would met in another way? Like him going there to say he is responsible for putting their daughter in the family way. The father didn't say a word and that made him wonder what kind of family they were. Then he gave it another thought and concluded perhaps it's the way of military personnel. When it comes to family, they are always cool-headed but duty time. They are as hot as hell. Occasionally, when they let out their anger, they are unrestrained. Fiona's mother's eyes narrowed as she started speaking again. How old are you? She had hit the nail on the head. That was the bone of contention and Victor Ocon dropped his hands. His hair, a mixture of grey and black, had somewhat given him out. But there was no point lying. If he ended up marrying her, they would have to know sooner or later. He was a man of integrity and worth who didn't value recklessness. He was responsible. Fiona took over, taking the bull by the horn. He's 45, younger than you by three years. So what? She spat out, a look of disdain played on her face. Her mother retorted, If he is young enough to be my brother, then he is old enough to be your father. That's tongue. Drop of tears rolled from Fiona's eyes. Her father, who'd let the conversation flow for a long time, spoke. You ladies should keep it cool in here. Why don't you go into the kitchen and get us something to drink in here? We want to have a tete -tay a tete. -tay. Fiona jumped from the chair and stalked out of the living room. Her mother followed swiftly. Even as the kitchen door closed, one could still hear their voices. Her father spoke with Victor and he found out he really liked the man. But he was concerned about them understanding each other. Relationships like that most times comes with huge load of commitments. He was worried about her future and how long it might take for them to really connect. There were lots of people in the society with that kind of situation and they were doing fine. Some too, on the other hand, had failed at it. They spoke for a long time and Victor was able to wise out his mind. He felt it was a normal reaction for the mother considering the fact that they were about to give him their eye teeth. They heard a crash followed by a loud sound in the kitchen and stopped abruptly. Fiona stormed out holding her hand to one side of her face. She picked up her handbag and asked Victor to meet her at home. She left the house and Victor rendered his apologies. He shook the father's hands, nodded at the mother and walked out calmly. He met Fiona outside crying. He pulled her into his arms and kissed her forehead. He drove in silence. She played with her fingers and finally let out a sigh. She was scared of losing him and said, I'll do whatever it takes. I will. He didn't say a word. He just nodded. He wondered in his mind, what's there loving someone older or younger? Isn't love the most important thing? Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe.